All right, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which you know is America. But before we get started, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. So we're out here another week. As you can see, Jake has no idea what's going on, and it's only right because it's prophecy. All right? You people turn your, your heart away from the Most High, so he withdrew wisdom away from you. And he left you here to be a bunch of degenerates, and you're going to be destroyed. So we're going to start with Ezekiel uh, 22 and 17. Right. Ezekiel 22, 17. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. Right, dross is like just a, a film over metal that you don't want, man. It's like it's almost like rust. Like you just you serve no purpose. All right, the Heavenly Father likened his Israelites, you people of so-called Negro and Native Indian descent, he likened you to gold, all right? You're the precious metals of the Heavenly Father. But the majority of our people right now are dross. Right, it says, all they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are all even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, because ye, because ye are all become dross, because there I will get my man. Behold, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin in the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon, to melt it. So will I gather you in the, in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. All right, the Most High is going to leave two thirds of his people here to melt. Huh? Those ICBM missiles that are coming from Russia, that are coming from China, that are coming from Iran, that are going to completely cover Babylon the Great, two-thirds of our people are going to be left here. They're going to be melted, all right? The so-called white man likes to call this place the Great Melting Pot, and that's exactly what it's going to be, all right? World War III is going to end with our people getting melted. This is, this is the end of World War III. All these niggas are going to get burnt up with your idols, that you love so much, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, all right, Christianity, all of the madness and foolishness, hip-hop, hip black community, all of this madness is going to be destroyed, man. The Most High is not dealing with anything in Babylon other than this ministry, all right? Those, those of his people that are willing to repent and come back to him. This is rock, this is Ezekiel 24 and 3. I'm going to read two. Son of man, write thee the name of the day, even of this same day. The king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day, and utter a parable unto the rebellious house, and say unto them, Thus say Yahweh thy power, set on a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Gather the pieces thereof into it, even every good piece, the thigh, the shoulder, fill it with the choice bones. Take the choice of the flock and burn also the bones under it and make it boil well and let the, them see it, the bones of it therein. Wherefore thus say Yahweh thy power, woe to the bloody city, to, to the pot whose scum is therein and whose scum is not going out of it. Bring it out piece by piece, let no fall, let no not fall upon it. Right, the scum in the pot, man. The most high is calling you niggas scumbags, man. All right? You're nothing but scum, all right? You're going through life, committing adultery, you can't wait to sleep, you're plotting on the next man's woman, all right? You got you rubbing your hands together like bird, man. You can't wait to do something mischievous and lascivious, man. You're just following the flesh. That's two thirds of our people and they won't stop. They're programmed to not stop. The Most High has it already written that he's not gonna forgive them. He's only gonna forgive his elect. The elect is the remnant of the nation of Israel. Those that follow the Lamb with so he goes. This is uh, Second Edges 9 and uh, 20. <clears throat> so I considered the world, and behold, there, were, there was Pharaoh because of the devices that were come unto it. And I saw it spared it greatly, and I have kept me a grape of the cluster, a plant of a great people. Let the multitudes perish then, which were born in vain, and let my grape be kept in my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. 
right? That's right on time, man. Let the multitude perish that were born in vain. All right, the Heavenly Father created an olive tree that was perfect. And when you read, uh, give me Romans 11, when you go into the olive tree, a lot of our, a lot of our branches became degenerate, man. They, they got broke off. And you have some of the, the branches that are being grafted back in. That's talking about us that repent and put off the ways of this world. The rest of our people are just going to be burnt up, man. They're just useless branches. They can't, they can't grow. They can't produce fruit. So the Lord's going to burn them up. Where is Romans 3 and what? Oh, uh, remember. Let me start. Romans 3 and 10? No, no, 11. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest were blinded, man. When you go back into Isaiah, the Most High put, put a blinding over two thirds of his people, so they can't get the truth. It doesn't matter. They, they're reading the same book we're reading, all right? Grandma's got a Bible, all right? Grandpa's got a Bible. All these Jakes have Bibles, but it's, they're blind. They can't read the scriptures. They, they read the word world. They have no idea what that's talking about. They they praying to Jesus, eating pork. They just bugged out, man. But it says the election have obtained it. What have we obtained? The truth, the understanding, the wisdom and knowledge, our heritage. We understand who we are, who our power is, and what, what his will is, what his intent is. Keep going. According as it is written, Yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. Until this day. Right? And it says, and David said, let their tables be a snare and a, and a trap and a, and a stumbling block and a uh, recompense unto them. And that's what happened, man. King David prayed that you niggas wouldn't get it because you were vexing him, man. All right? All 12 tribes were united under King David and you had wicked niggas that were going off, man. Just bugged out Jake's. And it, it hasn't changed. Even to this day, you have a group of men that are standing up for who we are, standing up to the Heavenly Father, and you have scoffers, weirdos, non-believers. This idea that all of Israel is going to come together, that's not in the Bible, man. All right? When you go back to the ancient world, Jake knew who they were, but they still went off. They were worshiping golden calves, worshiping women, worshiping all sorts of mischievous madness, but they knew they were Israelites. So how much more today? Jake knows he's an Israelite, but he's still, his mind isn't right. His face is not towards your Awa Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're not supposed to unify with niggas, man. Let's all come together. And do what? All come together and close. Uh, with the witch. Uh, and lights. Uh, with yeah, yeah. What, what has light to do with darkness? Yeah, I got you something. Yeah. This Hosea 4 and 11. Whoredom and wine and new wine taking away the heart. Yeah, man. Whoredom, wine. And <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the nigga chapter right there. Yeah, that's the nigga chapter. This Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, ye children of Israel. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah had a, con a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of our power in the land. Yeah, there's no truth or mercy, man. Jake has mercy when it comes to the heathen. Look at Jake has mercy when it comes to the so-called white man, everything he's done to our people the past 500 years. You want to forget that, you want to forgive him for that, but when it comes to your brother, if he steps on your shoes, if he owes you $20, if he looks at you the wrong way, you're ready to blow his head off, man, because you hate yourself. So anything that looks like you, you want to put it to rest, man. Jake just bugged out. Yeah, Jake, Jake himself is a cursed thing, man. And anything that's a cursed thing, the Lord put away out of Israel. Yeah. Like you yourself is a curse, all right? You don't even know who your enemy is, man. You have looked at your own people, all right, who you took house with. Jake, what, hey, y'all can not, what that was uh, we went into where Jake just helped, brought four niggas to the shop to shoot down his own cousin, no, no, didn't help the nigga shoot him. Like, Jake, you... Show you how cursed it is, man. You cursed, man. It shows you, man. That's our people, man. Yeah. Finish. Like, when you when you go put like I brought up before in the past. Shit out that shit. When you go when you go to the when you go to A A D G to, to get a, a security system, in your mind, I'm getting security system for one people, one people only. Yeah, 
Nigga, when I go get a big German Shepherd, yeah. a big Rock Roller, I got a Jake on my mind. Yeah, every gun you get yeah. is for a nigga, man. Yeah. Come on, let's be real, yeah. man. Even Esau. Esau got them burglar bars up. For niggas. For Jake back ass, <laughs> man. <laughs> because the scripture tell you, man, they, they, they are gone, man. Get it uh, real, real fast for me, though. No, 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 no. Proverbs. I might be, I might be tripping. I got the head Huh? Holy head That's how I'm. I'm, I'm oh, I said one. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Jake is a menace, man. I got you. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Kind of shit. Yeah, get that one real quick. I got you. This is backing up what we're saying, man. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah it's like, 1. It's already five. I'm a, Four. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Four from, gotta get four. It says, yeah, uh, shit, I gotta get three. Three. Yeah. The ox gnawed his owner, Isaiah one and three, and his ass, his master's crib. But Israel don't not know. My people don't not consider. Right. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. They're talking about Jake. I'm talking about from the Latinos, Native Americans. Yeah. On down to the so-called Negroes, man. All the way down. There are people laying with iniquity, man. The seed of evildoers, man. What? A cursed people as we going into, man. Yeah. A people laying with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. Right. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are going away backwards. Yeah, niggas are going away backwards, man. Niggas in reverse, man. See the evil doers. They'll, they'll plot. Niggas come up with a plot. Niggas come up with a plot and a plan to uh, to rob the liquor store. They'll come up with a plot and a plan to com commit adultery. Nigga got, nigga got a whole blueprint in your house, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to come through the window. Nigga get to work from about 6.30 in the morning. It's two of them. There's two of them in there. <laughs> I'm going to have a steak for the dog. Yeah. Get a dog, hey, hey, little puppy. I'm going in the back with the woman. Nigga got the whole, got the shit all mapped out, man. But Jake don't tell you, when y'all finish getting the job done, he gonna put that thing in your head and execute your fucking ass. Cause he don't want to split the half. You got it, I. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just on that, committing adultery. What else? Uh, robbing. A nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, I'm talking about, a nigga was laying in the bushes waiting on your ass, man. I know, I, like for days, for days. For days, man. The same way, I think they did Peter. Who that, who that was? They said we ain't gonna eat. Oh, yeah, Paul. Yeah, they made a deal with Paul, man. They killed Paul the same way. And them niggas, the nature of them niggas still haven't left, man. Yeah. They, still got, they still got that rough, rugged, doggy dog, grimy ass attitude, man. Especially you niggas down here in New Orleans, man. You kill your own cousin. <laughs> your mama set you up down here. The old lady too. Don't tell about the old lady. I just, like, I got a partner. Yeah, I got a partner. His woman said him up. Well, my partner's partner, my partner's uncle, woman said him up. Oh, baby, come on, so I want to see you. I got a new dress on. What? <laughs> man, go down there. That was the last time they seen him, man. Next thing you know, they found him back there in the mission. Miss you chopped and fucked up in a, in, a, in a garbage bag, man. They just did that on the news when a dude ran in the house. Yeah. They arrested this woman because she had something to do with it. Yeah. They shooting him to death and telling him, chill, watch out, get out the way. They shoot him till he catch on fire. Till he catch on fire. Watch <laughs> out, babe. Watch out. Watch, watch out. out. Watch out. <laughs> and instead of hitting him, man. Stay still. Stay down. Yeah. Telling her that. That's you, that's you yeah. so-called Negroes, man. With your grimy ass, man. Finish. Say it round, we need to go in business together. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> this is how they say it round, look. You heard me? You got the you got the mind, I got the money. You know, we can do that. Man, no, we can kill you. You gonna put that mist in your think tank, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you put a hole on top of your head like a dolphin, man. You need to scream. Yeah, that's a D, man. That's a D. He working on cancer today. <laughs> Wait, wait. It says, a sinful nation of people led with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. A seed. 
You're Planet. born. You're born to do wickedness, man. From the birth, from from the womb. Jake, Jake come out the womb just was that? Was that man? Well, come out the come, come out the womb just being wicked. Man. That's him, man. Gotta get that child by five. That's the nigga. This child. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, man. I got it. I got it. I ain't even even. Except the brothers, except the brothers in Memphis. You niggas down here? Excuse me. You and you, 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 you catching in Memphis? Y'all gotta be the worst, man. Oh man, we went down. You gotta be the worst. I'm talking about in in life, in this lifetime. No, the video you put in the Mississippi nigga. Oh. Oh, you remember? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. King, King, uh, King Gumbo. King Gumbo. Niggas up there. Them two. What is uh? Greenville, Mississippi. Greenville, you know, Mississippi. Too, through. God oh, damn. I remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, put yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, them niggas <laughs> screw. I thought the Memphis niggas was yeah, cool, yeah. but them niggas screw, yeah. bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, Mississippi. It's like, it's like bottom like worse, Olympics. Like, yeah. you yeah. got gold medal in niggotry, man. <laughs> got, got New Orleans. Like, yeah. we, had, gold. we had the Niners. We had the Niners. We had the Niners. New Orleans got the yeah. gold, for sure. Yeah. You see that nigga? He got thug life written. <laughs> like a baby written with a crayon on his fucking chest. He got a tattoo, man. <laughs> I got hit right here. I mean, you're a dummy, man. You're a flunky. That's all that means. They got cut in the bullet wound. I got cut back here. I mean, you was running when you got cut, nigga. Yeah, that's it. That's what it means. Clown? Go ahead, huh? Yeah, nigga used that as a as a trophy, man. A tool, a trophy. Like, nigga, you almost got your life took. What's the bragging? You don't get bragging rights for that. But see, that's our people is subjugated into think like that, man. Y'all niggas are coons, man. Y'all yeah. done let y'all allow y'all enemy to think busting each other up is the way to go. And that's how I'm gonna get my respect. Until you get bust up. Yeah. Then what? Yeah. I, uh, go to jail. Uh, yeah. I was doing all that dope out town. What that mean? You a flunky? You a flunk. You got caught, man. Yeah, and you sold dope for your people. Yeah. You, 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 you a dope really? fiend now. Yeah. That's why you niggas down here in the world hate to, hate to be told you a dope fiend, man. <laughs> and the bulk of you niggas ain't nothing but functioning crackheads, man. Uh, that's right. That you got so much, you, you yeah, so much, you so much of fun functioning crackheads. You got, you niggas got chart, tar and and, and, and ginger pie on your fucking goals, man. Niggas <laughs> 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 fucking. Bitch, I'm out here ducking. I'm like, nigga, look at that nigga mouth. I'm like, yeah, yeah look at you ducking, ducking sure. nigga. <laughs> Fingernails dirty as fuck. Black shit. Black souls. That's Jake though. Niggas just smelling like. We air freshen all goddamn thing, man. And that's the international fucking fragrance of a nigga. Weed and failure. Weed and cocoa butter, man. And frustration. <laughs> and frustration, man. That's the international smell of a of goddamn nigga, man. Nigga through. You smell like it, though. Like it was a lack of this dip, man. Laughter is like a dip. Look like this. How about a fucking a tailpipe, man? Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, when you got a dog going black, on bourbon with no, you know, get some it, basketball nigga, shorts and yeah. no drawers on, no you socks, no socks. Yeah, you don't got no drawers on either. <laughs> going he on gotta, bourbon, free throw. He, he got a goddamn pineapple up his ass. The nigga with him. <laughs> Jake's gone, man. man. Yeah, Jake is gone, man. Yeah. <sighs> hey, man, you when you ride when you ride through uptown to downtown. You would really be, what, what the, the hell is that, man? Get that shit. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. Get that shit. What is that? Yeah. Only in New Orleans, man. That's somebody oh, grandma, man. man. That's the end of time. That's somebody grandma, man. Hey, that's, that's the that's, end that's, of time. That's, that's, continue reading. <laughs> that's all right there. Continue reading. It <laughs> says, <laughs> Isaiah 1 and 4, a sinful nation of people led with iniquity are seeing the evil through us. That's girls and boys. Yeah. Don't, don't leave that out. Yeah. Men and women. Yeah. It says, they have forsaken Yahweh by Shem Yahweh they will provoke the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are going away backwards. Right. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. The whole head is sick, man. You look at our people, man. They're, they're finished. There's no hope for the future of our people in Babylon the Great, man. If you're thinking about a 401k, like 20 year plans, Generational wealth, that's the new thing. We gotta, we gotta circulate the black dollars so we can have generational wealth. You niggas don't know anything about the economy, man. Every dollar is green, green too, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get that clip. Yeah. Every dollar is green. There's no such thing as a black dollar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stupid yeah. niggas, man. Yeah. This man prints money. 
and it's, it's not, green. It's not real. It's not backed by anything. He prints the money. He can control. They, they show you what's going on in the ports right now. This man could just shut down shipping. Like, look, we're not going to have any products come in. What do you, what do you think it's going to do? The U.S. Treasury said they're they going to do that. Yeah. They're intentionally do that because you don't want to take the poke. Take, take the poke yeah, man. man. What is the black conscious community going to do about that, man? Oh, they got, well, they got to get polite out of jail first. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, he, remember, he, he, had a, he had a spontaneous combustion on a little girl, man. Cosmic nut. A cosmic yeah. nut, man. With Gab. Gavin, oh! Gavin said he. Oh, shit, all of a sudden. Oh! They said he found his DNA all over the room, man. He was having a seizure nut, man. He was doing this stink yeah, thing, huh? He was doing hey, Y'all ever watched uh, yeah, the scary Crank movie. Yankers and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then one was, hello? She has on the phone and the boss was in that 10 old girl ass up, man. This, 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 I'm talking about just having a, 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 a loose hose pipe, man. <laughs> you know how a hose pipe is just like this? That shit was just all over the place, man. That nigga, they gotta get him out of jail first, huh? You know, he gonna be right with our killer in a minute. All these niggas are degenerates at the end of the day. Man. Yeah, man. You're a degenerate, but what if I get a nigga? It says. That was, that was the point. From the sole of the foot. Jacob, fuck with some Six. black people are crazy. Leave that alone, Jacob. <laughs> Leave that alone. Yeah, exactly. Leave that alone. Jacob, 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 fuck with some black people are crazy. Man. You say, uh, Roach and some Daisy Dudes. <laughs> Roach and some Daisy Dudes, man. Jacob, fuck with that. Jacob, fuck with that. So that's a Roach. Look at that ass, though. That's Jake, man. You about to fuck a roach? Yeah, look at that ass though, right? <laughs> they coming through late at night. At least ain't nobody seeing me. Leave the back door. Hey, hey, I'm I'm say, says from the sole of the foot, even into the head, there is no soundness in it. There's no soundness in Jake, man. Our, our wisdom is the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So without that, you just you toss to and fro. Your, your morals are based on what people think is right and wrong. And these people are, are degenerates, man. You, you can't follow what society says is right and wrong. Society changes with the wind. Right. And really, society is governed by these women. And these women are drug addicts just like these dudes. All of these women are anti-depressant. They follow, like, follow with the last, the last five right. niggas they were messing with. Yeah. They was on drugs, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And that's why that's why even the top scientists said when you inject a woman, you put your spirit on her. So when you look at a lot of these women that's not anybody crazy, spirits on They got five different guys, spirits on them, man. Yeah. Then you go as then you go what you other what you do too. You go ahead and get them bugged out ass Indians over there in Pakistan and shit, and you put that hell on your head. So there goes another spirit on it. Yeah. All type of shit just bouncing off your ass, man. Yeah. This woman have like a like a demon sure. convention in their mind, man. The, the, the demons that you're like arguing in their brain, man. Sure. You can't right. follow a woman, man. But that's the spirit of Jake. Yeah. Hey, like Alan Rucker said, a lot of you niggas is following your woman. You supposed to be putting the vibration on your woman, but yeah, she's putting the vibration on you, telling your black ass what to do, man. Yeah. And you like a goddamn puppy dog listening to this shit, man. Yeah. A lot of you men, a lot of you fucking men, man, are just some wet, nothing, no good, sorry motherfuckers, man. Sims. Sims at, at best, man. Moist ass niggas, man. Like I'm trying to say, you niggas are moist, man. Yeah. Hey, leave out what else the Apostle Ricard said. A lot of you niggas have your head straight up your woman's ass. Yeah. That's some dickless faggots, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Jake's head so far up his woman's ass, he, he's tasting all the different spears from the mother, man. Yeah, it's yeah. to your fucking shoulder blades, man. <laughs> Yo, your hands so full of your fucking woman's ass is to the shoulder blades of you, man. You all right? Okay. <laughs> Continue. You yeah, got man. He got to clap his elbows because he can't talk because his head's so far up there. Yeah, man. Now look at some of you guys, man. You, you, you so trapped. You so trapped in this fucking place to where, nigga, you up there giving SOS for the signals with your eyes, man. Now, look at this. You just help me. Please help. Yeah, you can tell yeah. something's going drastically wrong at home, man. Yeah. You better wake the fuck up, man. We better wake the fuck up, man. Get on the street. Let him stay there for a little more, man. Let him stay there. One of these niggas come in in an old ass maximum. No, no paper tags in here, man. Just pick up 
The boy that old ass Escalade gonna hit him. Who come out, you know, every day with the round, he gonna hit him. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just gonna get to the point where the Lord gonna punch y'all in the fucking mouth, man. Just in that order. Got goddamn lashes, man. Yeah, yeah. You, mean, you seen the video, right? Come, come, come. Cumbrellas. Cumbrellas, man. Yeah, that's, when you wear lashes, they call cumbrellas. That was a yeah. prostitute that caught, she was catching so much, yeah, uh, ejaculation in her fucking face that she put them on to block the ejaculation on getting the eye. Yeah, man. That's the history behind that. That's facts. You can look that's that up. That's facts. Man. They walk around here. They walk around here. Cumbrellas. Cumbrellas. Yeah, cumbrellas. Like an umbrellas. With a C in the front yeah, of that That's why the motherfuckers sit the way they do, man. Yeah. They don't even know why they do yeah. that shit. <laughs> they all got no understanding. It's like, it's like when you, a lot of you, a lot of you uh, jinx, I got you. A lot of you jinx be out here on that, on that queen tip shit, not knowing, not knowing the word queen goes into prostitute, man. Right, yeah. Well, what that queen? What that queen? What that queen? They still ain't getting no ass from the motherfucker. They had an old uh -huh. term. Called the port queen yeah. because whenever navy or sailors were coming to port, the, the port queens or the prostitutes would be waiting to get that money from them. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's where the word queen comes from, man. You got Jake and the truth talking about we a nation of kings and queens. No, we a nation of kings and priests, man. Yeah. Kings, kings. Oh, king. We was king. Yeah. Yeah. That queens was never acknowledged. Yeah. Never. A women, they only daughters. They're the son, they're the daughters of men. That's it. When king David was the king of Israel, who was the queen of Israel when King David was the king? Yeah, nobody knows. Who was the queen of Israel when King Solomon was the nobody king? Nobody knows that. Who was the queen? Of, like, that, that's yeah. not in the scripture. That ain't, they first time you heard so many things, yeah. anytime there's yeah. something close yeah. to that, they ran. They called Sarai, uh, Sarah, the princess. Yeah. My princess. He my said, princess. Your name ain't gonna be the more Sarah, but Sarai. Yeah. Meaning, my princess. My. So you, to me, you're my princess, yeah. man. Possession. A possession, man. Yeah, that whole queen spirit goes back to the heathen. That's why when you read Esther, the heathen was Not trying the... to prop up the woman as a queen, man. That's a heathen <laughs> custom. <laughs> yes. I had to find the punishment. <laughs> Leave that alone, man. Yeah, man. I got you. Fucking crazy. This is a wrap, 26 and 9. And one thing, again, everything that we speak about is a scripture for it. Yeah. It's something where it can correlate back to the Bible. So the Lord covering what? All the tracks, man. This is a wrap, 26 and 9. I'm going to read 8. A drunken woman, man, man, playing games, man. Man, you know we don't have that shit out, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you trying to shine on us because you with your little boo, huh? Come on, man. You know we had it. Come on, brother. Yeah, it's good. You know it's good. I love y'all, brother. Yeah, bless, brother. Yes, sir, bro. This is Rock 26 and 9 and 8. I'm fucked up in the head, but get it from them. They, they, they gonna get y'all straight. Me personally, they working with me. Oh, it's crazy. They get them, with. get them in the cup. What we talking about that? Look at their eyelids. <laughs> this is Rock 26 and 8. Fly away. Kill it out like a motherfucker. A drunken, that look like she fucking eyes about to lift her off and take off and start flying and floating away. It says a drunken woman and they gather abroad causing great anger and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And eyelids, man. That's in the scriptures, man. That's in the scriptures. All right, the Most High gave us a skinny on you so-called black women, man. You're finished, all right? You're all on antidepressants, weed, drugs, and niggas, man. Spirits on them. Yeah, spirits on them. Yeah, these niggas got spirits on them. Yeah. Well, I know they're putting them on you. Come on, bitch, hit the pipe. You sitting there, hit the pipe. You burning up. Come on, bitch, hit the weed, hit the crack. Yeah. You're doing this shit, man. Why do you, why do you women on hair on out here, man? Because they fight. They don't even know how they got on the goddamn party bus and wave. Yeah, they daddy don't never come pick them up yep. and bring them nowhere. Yeah, because you a damn Fruit. demon, man. A lot of you women ain't nothing but demons, man. Right. And they do not believe in the scriptures, all right? No matter how many times they go to church with that big ass hat, screaming about Jesus, they don't believe in the scriptures. They believe in horoscopes and the Democratic Party. That's it. That's the next, their God. The next one come up here, they say they believe in the scriptures. You, 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 go, to, uh, you go to Isaiah 14, uh, 4 and 1. We're going to see. 
and, 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 and government fund. Yeah. Don't man. forget the government, yeah, the government funding. The government is their God, man. Yeah. Not Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. They believe in the government. The hold them, uh, uh, I mean, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, least she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And that's the nation of Israel, man. Our women that's are completely it, abused through over friend. much liberty, man. Fuck them. Get back to uh, Isaiah 5. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah. Yeah, we, don't even, we don't even get on you. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. 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 You ain't gonna yeah. get all that. Yeah, we, we already know, man. man. Yeah, we, we over you. We, we over you in the spirit, man. Yeah. All right. It's not the uh, the red pill community, which is complained by women all day. Yeah. Yeah. You come over here. Where brother go? This is Isaiah 5. This is Isaiah 5 and 3. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could have have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it. Right, the Heavenly Father's likened his nation to a vineyard, man. He's the husband. Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, bought it forth wild grapes. That goes to Romans 11. John, still in Romans 11? I think it was that verse. Uh, eight. Uh, yeah. Extra good. Romans 11 and 8. It says, and according to as it is written, Yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber. Free time. Sure. Isaiah, I mean Romans 11 and 15. For it, for it, for if the casting away of them be the reconciliation of the world, which shall, which shall the receiving of them be for life from dead, for if the first fruits be holy, the love is also holy. If the root be holy, so are the branches. Yeah. And the branches is talking about that olive tree, man. The Israelites, not everybody. Romans 11 is going into Israel being cast off and they're coming back to be reconciled. You know? And if some of the branches be broken of and, and, and thou be a wild olive tree, uh, Wayne, what is we're, we're grafted. We're grafted in among them, and with the partaking of the root and the feathers of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root, my bad, thou bearest not the root, but the root deep. Right, the root is your house shot, man. And the root is holy. So the branches of the tree are also holy. That's us, all right? The branches that, that broke off and that are being grafted back in are holy. Read a verse. That was there that was a part of the tree already. A branch is what? Part of the tree, right? You can't. It even it even speak about the branches of God damn it uh it speak about the branches of uh, how branches of Damn, I forget it escaped it. How the branch how the branch uh, brings about itself the, in. About the scion? Yeah, the, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's it. I think yeah, that's yeah, the scion. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna go into it. It says, boast not against the branches, because if thou boast against, if thou, but if thou boast, thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root deep. Thou will say then, the branches were, were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Right, and only, only an olive branch could be grafted into an olive tree, man. These heathen, this is Romans 11. Romans 11. Verse. Yeah, the whole chapter. But um, the, the branches that are being grafted back in are Israelites, man. It's not talking about all nations being grafted into an olive tree. That's not that's not in the scriptures. The heathen are going into slavery, hardcore slavery. Right. And they deserve it, man. Read out verse right. 23. Yeah, because what the brother's saying too, if you brothers ever go and look, 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 look on the internet uh, of a person grafting in a, a, a branch, it's like you got a tree that's dying. You got a tree that's dying or whatever. You can actually take a piece of the same, because you got to be, that tree has to be of the same stock. You can't be an yeah. olive tree and be a banana tree and get grafted into the olive tree. Can't, no. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the with, with the blood of men, all right? You have to be oh. of the same stock, of the same lineage, pedigree of Israel in order to be Israel. You can't be another nation and get and grafted in, because that grafting process takes a cutting, 
then you actually put the you put the uh, other branch that's dying, you put it in there, and you wrap it up. Yeah. And over time, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna uh, fuse itself yeah. to the actual tree. It actually starts to grow again. Man. Same root though. Yeah. Same root. That goes into the like that actually goes into the, also the word kindred, uh, kindreds. It's gonna be the same kindreds, man. The same stock, same clan. You name it, man. Even 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 the Lord said in the law. When you, when a man makes a vineyard, you gotta separate those different. Uh, you can't mingle the seeds. You can't mingle those different seeds together. Same thing with the seed. How much more the seed than men? That's a great point. How much more? Okay. Verse twenty-three. In verse twenty-three. It's Romans eleven and twenty-three. Romans eleven twenty-three. Yeah, it says, and and they also, if they abide not in unbelief shall be grafted in, but the Most High is able to graft them in again. Again. So if somebody's been grafted in again, what does that mean? They were, part, they were already there before. You can't, be, you can't come back again to something you were never a part of. You return. You don't yeah, want to get the commonwealth. So we're returning back to, into the commonwealth of Israel, man. That's, that's what's going on right now. There's nothing else. There's no other nation. Right before camp, when it's out of the covenant, can't add or disannul. That's in Galatians, the third chapter. So if you can't add to the new covenant, where do you heathen fit in? In chains, in slavery. That's where. That's how you're going to be in the kingdom. You are going to be in the kingdom of heaven, but it's going to be hardcore slavery. Yeah. The, uh, the Commonwealth? Yeah. There's Ephesians 2 and 12. That at the time, ye were without the Mashiach and our shah being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of the promise, having no hope and without our power in the world. Right. We were strangers, man. Going into the law. That's, that's what the word Gentile means. It's talking about strangers. Those that were part of the commonwealth of Israel that were strangers from the covenant. That citizenship. Yeah, man. citizenship. And we're being grafted back in right now through this ministry, through hey. the preaching of the word. Get those two, get those two. The one you brought up. Get the, the one I brought out in uh, Hebrews. I told you to get a Hebrew. Yeah, that, that's on time right now, man. I mean, that brother, when it, it's the spirit, huh? you were talking about that. Brother Kuna, we went to some whole other stuff, man. Wrap around, back to the same thing right now, man. Yeah, get we ain't, yeah, we ain't get the whole thing. Yeah, you ain't get the whole thing, man. I want to get that word set up. And like I say, uh, and, and what the brother read, the most important yeah. words, the most two important words in that verse is the word from. Yes, it's that, it's that simple. Yeah. F R O from. From. Yeah. The common well. Ever since I was 13. What, what, what's the thing? In order to be, in order to be from something, you have to be once of it, man. You know? Yes, yeah, says commonwealth, citizenship, a community. Citizenship, man. <laughs> The inhabitant of any city or country, a federal citizen, a federal country. Yeah, the Israelites, man. The Israelites. The commonwealth of Israel. That's what it's about, man. No other nation. All you nations are going into slavery. You, you take hold of our book and try to teach us this means this and that. That's all vanity, man. The elect is raising up. We find it out. Lord willing, we have that number. We find out who we are and what we're supposed to do. So we're being grafted back into that olive tree, which is all righteous. Because the root of the olive tree is Yahawashai, not Jesus. All right, Yahawashai, man. Jesus, Philippians 3, verse 20. For our conversations is in heaven. From hence we look for the Savior, Yahweh. I be going to that word conversation. What's the brother brought out the same Greek word that means citizenship. Yeah. Our citizenship is the kingdom of heaven. Like bring the other one out real fast. That's the other conversation. Kinds of Hebrew.
Philippians 3:2. As Hebrews 11, verse 14. For they that said such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they be mindful of that country from hence they came out, they might have had opportunity to, to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in that is in heavenly. Wherefore the most high is not ashamed to be called their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. Oh, that's, five. that's right, man. That's five. Prepare for us a city, man. To be citizens. To be citizens of the kingdom of heaven, man. There's nothing outside of that that we long for. We're not waiting for, for Babylon to come back. We're not waiting for you know, things to go back to normal. We're waiting for things to get worse considerably so the Most High can destroy this place and deliver his elect. If, you, if you're waiting for Babylon to come back, you're bugged out of your mind. Man. Uh, it's Hebrews 13, verse 14. <laughs> for, he, for here have... Oh, I'm sorry about slack. It's Hebrews... This Hebrews 13 verse, Hebrews 13 verse 14. But here have we no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Read that again. Huh? This Hebrews 13 verse 14. But here have we no continuous city, but we have we seek one to come. Right. We don't have a continuous city here. We don't have any hopes of a 401k making it 30 years from now, 40 years from now. That's not our hope. Our hope is in seeing you people suffering, seeing you eat your children seeing that the heathen destroy each other in World War III. Because we know, according to prophecy, that's what has to happen before we get out of here. You can't, you can't prolong this place anymore, man. You're trying to prolong your life, which is, there's no life here. We're in hell. You, you, we, don't, we don't even know what's in our food, man. You read the ingredients. We don't know, man. The truth? Yeah. The enemy put the ingredients on the thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you jakes aren't tired of this, man. You're not tired of going back and forth with your woman who was created to serve you? You're not tired of working for the goddamn heathen who were created to serve you? King Solomon said what? I've seen princes walking to service upon the earth. That's where we're at right now, man. You, you, need to, you need to get it in your mind that you're supposed to be ruling over the, pan the camera. These, all of these heathen are our possessions. They're supposed to be working for us. They're supposed to be picking our cotton, picking our fruits. They're supposed to be building our palaces. It's not normal for you to have a job for a heathen. It's not normal for you to have two jobs. I, I got two jobs. I, I work overtime. That's bugged out, man. You were created to serve the Lord. They were created to serve you. That's the natural order. Anything outside of that is an abomination. It's Babylon. It's, it's confusion. That's what, that's what we're stuck in right now, a state of confusion. Give me a uh, Sirach 12 and uh, this is a rock 12. This is a rock 12. And what? 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Right. Never trust your enemy. Your enemy taught you how to be. Your enemy taught you what a relationship is, what a marriage is. Your enemy taught you what a government is, what money is. But everything about the society was taught to you by your enemy, and you're not supposed to trust him. He's not going to teach you the right way to live. He's not going to teach you that you're supposed to rule over him. Why would you teach your enemy, look, look, I'm an Edomite. I'm, I'm really down here. You're an Israelite. You're a prince of God. That don't make sense. Edom's not going to teach you that, man. The Most High is going to teach you that. He's going to set up men according to his heart, pastors according to his heart, man. Yeah, that's why, uh... Ten and eleven say that these same those same enemies then suffer to put you in, in graves, man. They put you to rest. Tell you who you is. Them niggas not gonna do that, man. You had to find out. You had to go through the, the hard way and the most high to give you the word. Your enemies ain't give you a damn thing. Have you niggas? You still in the chokehold, man. The white man ain't tell you a damn thing, oh. Oh, for second one, I'm gonna tell you this good. Nah, this nigga ain't. Going back 40 years ago, 50 years ago, you niggas couldn't go to these colleges. You couldn't read these books and shit, man. This shit wasn't long ago, huh? Yeah. Yeah, just to back up what the hell they said, these devils, they gave you African American studies, alright? The so called white man created African American studies, alright? He told you you were African. Most High never told you that. 
All right? The devil's not going to give you your true identity. You have this devil, Johann Blumenblatt. He made up the whole concept of a, a Negro. Just, just making shit up, man. Making up your identity. All right, you have that other, that, that, that cool. What's his name? Charles nah. yeah, Darwin. That's the one with Boaz, too. Frankie, uh, Frank, Frank Boaz and nah. Melville Herkovitz. Yeah. It says, you see these. Amalekite Edomites, yeah. so so-called 19, well not so-called 1948ers, those gutter rats, meet the fathers of African history, the anthropologists who created the field of African American studies and African studies in today's universities and institutions. They were the teachers of W. E. B. Du Bois. Well, not a black coon yeah. puppet, boule nigga, man. It was uh, a tear. Yeah, and, and a tear to boot, man. Go ahead. Zora and, and Zora Neil Hurston, among many others. Not only do the black Americans out of the Africa motherland concept come from white Edomite eugenicist Charles Darwin, but the black American historical connection to the landmass, presently known as Africa, is based upon two Jewish men. Right. For the sole purpose of suppressing records of black Americans' origins and indigenous history in America within academic institutions created by white supremacy. Right, that's right. When you go into the NAACP, that was set up by Amalek. Those two scholars, those are Amalek. Why would Jewish people give you your history? They control the transatlantic slave trade. They made billions of dollars insuring the slave ships. They made billions of dollars off the slave trade, but they're going to tell you who you are? They're going to give you your identity? That doesn't make any sense. That's why the brother read, never trust your enemy. Yeah, and you niggas today, you believe that you the same cone-head ass Egyptians, man. All right? Them niggas, the, we, we brothers can tell you who the father of Egyptians is. Gene Champion. Yeah. All right? And that other goddamn devil, uh, 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 Gerald Mason. Gerald Mason, man. And they he got some more right here, too. Gerald Massey. Gerald Massey. What's, what's, Gerald Massey. And Gene Champion had a lot to do with the with Egyptian studies, man. The hieroglyphs and shit. You niggas all talk about the hieroglyphs and the pyramids. Nigga, you were slaves. Which one of the niggas was illiterate, though? I believe uh, that, that was... Uh, Massey? Massey was illiterate. Massey was a fucking illiterate, man. You no? Know? It's <laughs> like you other niggas in that prison house doctrine called Islam. That's a that's a jailhouse doctrine. Yeah, for real. You, go and you, you learn that shit when you try to get... You ain't trying to drop the soap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for protection. For protection. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, you got, you got some information. Yeah. And here's some more. The so-called, no, not the so-called, the fathers. Read it, read it slow for them so you can get it, man. And these, I'll show you the image, too. Besides uh, jean Franson, Champelion, and, and Gerald Macy, here are the other fathers of Egyptology, that bullshit y'all believe in, and especially Mr. Cosmic Nut, Samuel Birch, Edomite. a British Edomite, Flanders Petrie, an English Edomite, Carl Richard Lepsius, a German Edomite, James Henry Bristed, an American Edomite, Emmanuel de Rouge, a French Edomite, E.A. Wallace Budge, another English Edomite, and Heinrich Carl Bruch, a German Edomite, so-called uh, fathers of Egyptology. All Edomites. These are the same niggas that come up and say the white man wrote the Bible. We can prove that the white man wrote your shit, man. Yeah. All right, the, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Champillion was the one that, that decoded the so-called Rosetta Stone. Right. Uh, uh, what the other shit? The, uh, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Was that, they ain't nothing but a goddamn, they ain't nothing but a porno flick, man. You read that shit and about Horace sleeping with his son? No, that's, that's the other one. That's uh, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls? No, no, the Dead Sea Scrolls got the, the, the scriptures in them. The other uh, one. What, the Book of the Dead and all that shit? Yeah, there's the Epic of Gilgamesh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the, their creation yeah. story is one dude busting nut, a nut on lettuce. Another. Yeah, yeah, man. Nut, God. Yeah, it's like a guy busting a nut on lettuce, and that's how the universe was made, man. Yeah, man. That's what they believe, bro. And you niggas believe that shit, man. Yeah. And oh, I think it was Osiris. Yeah. He, he got cut into pieces, and the only thing that got eaten by a fish was his rod. So when when I, Isis and uh, his son, no, I, I get yeah, sex with his mother. Seti, Seti had sex with his mom. And so it's, 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 it's a bunch up. of madness. Yeah. I think it was Hort. 
it was either Horus or Osiris is the one that got chopped up. And then Isis, his mother, put him back together and they couldn't, because the fish ate his rod, they had to make like a clay rod to, to and, stick home. And on they it. started worshiping like obelixes, like giant rods, man. And yeah. what do you see all around here? Yeah. Obelix, man. Obelix. When you look at the, the top of your, your local your local uh, church, most time they got that they got that that uh that pin on top. Right? Which that building there is an obelix, man. It's a, it's a representation of a penis, man. All America has is nothing more than the phallic symbol. Yeah. Sex symbols that they worship, man. Look at the street light. A lot of you bugged out, conehead niggas, man. When you sit down at night and pray, what are you doing? You're making a vagina, man. You don't pray like that. <laughs> That's a vagina. Yeah. Right? You pray, and where that guy is, man? And this nigga into your head. This nigga right here. You, when you pray, pray, pray real fast, huh? And you see this nigga do this. This nigga just into your head like a bubble, man. Bugged out, man. You know? What's that other nigga name? Uh, Zachariah Siskin. A lot of you niggas believe in giants, man. When that shit was, when that shit was uh, all set up by, by damn Illuminati Satanists, man. Or oh, I believe giant niggas, niggas tall as the Eiffel Tower slept with some little bitty bitty women and shit, man. Wish that was, giants was us, man. Yeah. Go ahead, huh? This, uh, I got a, I did a video two years ago it's called religious niggerism. This man made religion. John Smith created the Baptist religion in 1608. Edomite. Edomite. Charles Parham created the Pentecostal religion Edomite. in 1901. Joseph Smith created the Mormon religion in 1830. Edomite. So all these religions you follow, you get it? Going off a nigga thought, how a nigga feeling that day, man? He just made up this For real, shit. He's just... just like uh, just like uh, science, science, Scientology. That shit was made up by a Hollywood producer. Well, each chamber that you go through, you gotta pay. And they, they suck uh, celebrities into them. You wanna be on, you wanna be on a uh, planet zoo? You gotta pay this much to get the rest of the information. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay this, man. Dianetics. Yeah. For, for truth's sake, since we, we say the truth on everything, it was Osiris that got it, got cut into pieces and lost his rod. Yeah. Uh, one more. Two. Charles Taz, Taz A. Russell created the Jehovah Witness religion in 1872. Bogged out. Bogged out. You niggas in that shit. You niggas need a bug. Oh, man. William Miller. Created the Seventh Day Adventist religion in 1863. And they had a bug out the motherfucker, John, John Thorne. What is his name? John Thorne? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who made uh, the Morans? You bugged out, you tribes, all you tribes be on them goddamn huffies, man. With that goddamn long cone helmet on, all through the hood. Short sleeve dress shirt. Short sleeve dress shirt on, man. With slacks, shit, you know, slacks on and shit. Dress pants and shit. Yeah. They teach that uh, it's a curse to have brown skin, which the Bible says the exact yeah, opposite, got, man. Yeah, I got that, that in the book of Nephi. Yeah, if you want it, you got it up. Yeah, let me get it. Yeah, and when you look at the Mormon literature, man, the 144,000 is a bunch of Edomites with blonde hair, man. Yeah, man, that shit is bugged out. Let me bring this quick pre out. Colossians 2 and 8. Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men. After the rudiments of the world and not after the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. That's religion, man. The, That's tradition, religion. the traditions of men, which those aren't even men of the Lord, man. You, you can follow the traditions of Apostle Paul. He said, What? Be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shah. Right. You're not supposed to follow a nigga that's got his own made up religion, man. That's madness. Which means the what? Religio means the what? Restrain. Hold back. Right. Restrain or hold back. Right. That's why to Jake today, can't figure out what the fuck going on in the earth, man, because they want to tie themselves to some type of religion, man. Yeah, just to of, feel a part of something. You a lot got of it. religion ain't nothing but, but cults, man. That's all it is. They're popping your daughters, they're popping your sons, you can't leave. And your wife. If you leave and they don't hear from you for a month, where you at? You go, you old ties, man. You niggas, you niggas is stuck, man. This is uh the second book. Real quick, that's what the Lord say, uh, the truth shall set you, who sets us free, man? Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. He is the truth. He is the word. He sets us free mentally, man. We're going to be physically set free by him, too. 
That's why it says no man should buy you. Well, the only man who come up with that tab to buy us out of this bondage is Jehovah Shai, man. All right? We we in this lost and found right now. We lost. We was once lost. Now we found. He's coming. He's coming back to. He's coming back to buy his uh, get his possessions, man. Yeah. Scripture says he's not gonna meet you as a man. So we're not gonna be redeemed by a man. We're being redeemed by a power, a, a heavenly <clears throat> celestial power. He's gonna come back very soon, according to prophecy. We in that season, and it's it's a wrap for you people, man. You got it out. <laughs> this is in the second book of Nephi, chapter five. Verse 21 to 23, and he had caused the cursing to come upon them. Yes, even a sore cursing because of their iniquity. For, be for behold, for behold, they had hardened their hearts against him, that they had become like unto a flint. Yeah, go ahead on, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Fucking demon on the bike. Fucking loser. Hope you lose your fucking head tonight. Go ahead. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him. And again, this is the second book of Nephi, chapter 5, verses 21 to 23. That they had hardened their hearts against him, and that they had become like unto a flint. Wherefore, as they were white and exceedingly fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticing unto my people, the Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them, and thus saith the Lord God, I will cause that they should be loathsome unto thy people, save they shall repent of their iniquities, and cursed shall their seed be of him that mix it with their seed. That's a whole spell you reading right there. And they shall be cursed. <laughs> yeah. Where's that in the scriptures, man? Yeah. Oh, I guess, hold on. But the Lord was angry at us, so he gave us brown skin. Like, come on, man. And we used to be white and yeah. delightsome. That, that's madness, man. Yeah, Why? I got, I got one to cut that. Well, yeah, you got it. Out. So I guess this is Job 30, 30 and 30. 30. Yep. My skin is blacker to me. I got one too. My bones are burned with, with heat. I got one too. I got it. So so Job, I guess he was a white man. He he cursed. I guess Job cursed. Yeah. The Lord ain't dealing with Job. Job 30 and 30. My skin is blacker to me, and my bones are burned with heat. That's plain, man. And the reason why they was like that, this Lamentations 5 and, and 10. Our skin was black like an oven. Because of the terrible famine, man. Yeah, man. What did Jake was going through? Who gets black and skin when it's during, during the famine, man? Who gets ash? Yeah, who gets ash? Jake, yes, man. Look at the Lord, the Lord himself. Book. The Lord himself, I guess he's a curse, man. Yeah. You know, I guess he's a curse. Oh, who oh, wants that? The Solomon say I'm black, but common. According to Daniel's 10, I guess the Most High curse too. Yeah, the Most High got a, got a skin disease. Come on, man. Hey, but when we go to the scriptures, we'll see what it has to say about being white and delightsome. This is in Leviticus chapter 13. I'm going to start at 13. Then the priest shall consider. Finished. Then the priest shall consider, and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. So th this is a curse, right? This is the description of the Lord. And uh, in Revelation, the first chapter, and Daniel, the fifth chapter, the tenth chapter, Salakia, this is how the Heavenly Father looks, this is how His Son looks. This is not a curse, man. This is how a normal person is supposed to look. You're supposed to have melanin. Every animal and plant has melanin or chlorophyll. That's what makes you human. Yeah, like that's that's what makes you human. That's you're, the word you're human, human mean. You're With human. color. Yeah. Carbon and everything else. Is... You're not supposed to have see through skin to where your blood, you can see someone's blood through their skin. That's a, that's a deficiency. That's a plague, as the brother's reading. And the, Lord, the Lord don't look like this in the Bible, man. This is a false image the so-called white man put up. The Lord himself in the Bible is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. That's plain. Put down the poach chops. Put down the the, uh, the, the fans in the, in the, in the, and read the Bible for yourself, man. Start letting uh, Pastor Poach out read the Bible for you, man. Which he ain't reading the Bible. All he's doing is asking for collection money. Yeah. Get that fancy big... Rose Royce in the helicopter, uh, <laughs> the helicopter, man. And your Popping son. your wife yeah. and your son. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't play But this is Leviticus. Coming in, he asking for Miss Jackson, man. But well, you remember, uh, you remember uh, Bernie Mac on Friday? Nah. Yeah. yeah, he coming, he coming for Miss Parker, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Leviticus 13 and 13. Then the priest shall consider and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is all turned white. 
He is clean, but when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. And the priest shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean. For the raw flesh is unclean. It is a leprosy. But raw wait. Flesh. Uh, there's... Give me Genesis 25 real quick. I got Genesis 25. Genesis 25 real quick. But wait, there's... You, you want to get... But wait, there's more. In the same chapter, Leviticus 13, verse 30. Now we saw that if, you, if you're all... If the leprosy is all covered you and you don't have raw flesh, you, you got white skin. You're clean. Clean leper. You, clean leper but listen to this Leviticus 13 verse 30 then the priest shall see the plague still talking about leprosy and behold if it be in sight deeper than the skin and there be in it a yellow thin hair then the priest shall pronounce him unclean now what's another word for yellow thin hair one of you uh, brothers got a, a nice line. phone put up put Brock Lesnar in there man. Oh, that was oh man, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. blind yeah, yeah, that look like. <laughs> Hello, I'm cool. What's up, Lavin? <laughs> <laughs> but that guy, man. Yeah, this is another. Let me see something. We got a recent one that he didn't came back. Get, get, get Kevin Nash from the Punisher. Read that uh, Genesis 25. This Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they call his name Esau. All right, Esau in the Hebrew is Shashua, which means wasted away as he. He was wasted away. That's why, I keep reading. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob, Yikwa. All right. and, Isaac. Yeah, and Jacob wasn't described because he looked normal. He was rugged. Everybody on the earth at that time had brown skin. That's a that's a normal trait. Not just you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, also the other heathen, the Hamites, the Japhites, the Elamites, the Moabites. All right. All, all of the nations were originally dark brown skin. Yeah, because when you see them Edomites and the hairs on like the men, the hairs on their arm all is blind as deeper than the skin. You see the eyebrows blind and shit. Even their eyes. You pull, everything on the earth has a pigmentation. Every animal, besides besides the white alligator and the, the white lion and all that old bullshit, but everything on earth has a melanin, melanin in it, man. When you're looking at albinos, they're outcasts, they're freaks. Yeah, yeah, even they're even amongst the lions. Yeah, that's just a defect. You know, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right, bro. Yeah, so they don't put, even your eyes are supposed to have pigmentation in it. That's why a lot of these devils, actually, you can actually devil, a lot of them, what, what 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 season we in right now? Uh, winter. Fall. You ever wonder why these devils come out with that pumpkin spice shit? Because when you eat when you eat pumpkin, pump, pumpkin is actually good for your eyes. Carrots is good for your eyes. Them devils need that. Then why you think they wear shades all the inside and yeah. all day they, they drive with shades because they, yeah. they, they, they got weak eye they got weak eyesight, man. Yeah. The average eater might got weak eyes, man. And they need them shades and shit. Because why? They don't have the eyes of blue. Yeah. Recessive. Yeah. And that's another reason you know evolution is complete bullshit. Esau teaches you that we evolved from apes and he evolved from us uh, over in the uh, Caucasus Mountains. And that, that's complete madness, man. When that anthropologist guy was up here a couple of years back, he studied anthropology for 30 years. I asked him one simple question. If, if you evolve in a cold climate, why is there no other animal or plant in existence that has recessive genes, white skin, and, and blue eyes? He couldn't answer it because it's not true. There, there is no animal that loses pigment over time in the cold. That's completely made up. Polar bears are dark, they're, they're really black, and their skin reflects the snow. That's why they right. look white. There's no right. such thing as evolving to lose pigment. That's madness, man. Yeah, you only can go, you, you can go from, you can go from, uh, I think it's, uh, light the dog, or dog the light. Look how it goes. Look how it goes, man. Oh, they, they're trying to say we, they evolved from us, so they're the most highly evolved men on yeah, the planet. Can, that's, that's madness. Yeah, you don't go the dog the light, man. And every, and every, like I said, even that, even that term that they try to use, we all human. No, we're not. The word human goes back to the word hue to mean to have color. So-called Negroes, we the ones that have color. The most high. The one you even call God and Jesus Christ has a color. It has, they're, they're human. Man. I got it. Yeah. Okay. This Daniel 10 and 5. 
I then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of Euphrates. His body also was like the beryl. Hey, where y'all from? Where you from, my man? Where y'all from? Where y'all from? from? Columbus? Where, where, your four, where your forefathers from? What? Your forefathers. Eritrea. Eritrea? Yes, sir. Okay, but how'd they get to Eritrea? How'd they get to Eritrea? Are you familiar with the Kushites? They're Eritreans. Are you familiar with the Kushites? Yes, sir. All right, do you know who Kush goes back to? Explain it, sir. Well, you, you guys never went into slavery. You never went on slave ships, correct? You never had your, your history taken from you. Correct. So you should know your history, right? So where does Kush come from? I'd like to hear your I mean, you're, you're from the land of Kush, so I'm, like, you should be an expert on where you're from. The problem is, is that there's a dichotomy between people, Eritrea and Ethiopia. Yeah. I'm sorry? There's a dichotomy between Eritrea and Ethiopia. Right. Where'd that come from, though? Who, who divided? I, I, I see what you're saying. Look, who? who? You you're scared to say it? You're scared to say it? I'm just trying to understand. The so-called white man came to your <laughs> land <laughs> and just said, hey, you want to say it? You scared? Hey, Don't be scared of you. Right? Right? He look like a genius. Yeah. Yeah. We, we messing with you, man. I'm not, I'm, I appreciate and I respect. Well, what, what you may not know, what you may not know is that the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel has been scattered amongst all nations. So, but we're the Israelites. What we're here to tell you is that Israel has been scattered amongst all nations. So just because you're from a land doesn't mean you necessarily go back to those people. You could be an Israelite. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in, you believe in a higher power? Or? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. What, what God do you worship? Demon. 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 What God do you believe in? You're a sick? Seeking. 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 Oh, you're seeking. 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 Where, where are you seeking? A lot of places. So okay. I, told I was, I was my, my mother was uh, Catholic, my father was Greek Orthodox. So there's a lot of places in which I'm trying to quote unquote find the truth. Okay, well, uh, whether you believe it or not, you found the truth. All right? The truth is found in the Holy Scriptures. All right? Which a lot of our people don't want to believe that, but this is the actual truth. I'm not. I'm not Okay, give me a uh, Because as I was saying, that the 12 tribes of Israel have been scattered amongst all people. So when you go into Eritrea, a lot of Eritrea, uh, they're, they're Israelites. We have a camp that's doing what we're doing right now in London. And yet they have brothers from Eritrea that are actually Israelites. So it's not, it's not based on skin color. It's not based on where you're from. It's based on your lineage, according to your father. So if your father's 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 father was an Israelite, you're an Israelite. So, uh, this is Ezekiel 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book. Isaiah 34 and 16. My bad. This is uh this is 1st, this is 2nd Maccabees 5 and 19. Nevertheless, the most high did not choose the people for the place sake, but the place for the people's sake. That's right. So you're an Israelite. No matter where you are in the world, if you go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, like we were born in America, that doesn't make us American. Obviously, we don't descend from Amerigo Vespucci. We descend from the 12 patriarchs of the nation of Israel. So, but this is how you seek the Lord. You, got it? you listen to my man. Yes, yeah, sir. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. Right. It says none of these shall fail. The Bible is the only book full of prophecies that have come to pass. So regardless of what you believe in, this is the Bible is the only book where, the, where God says what he's going to do, and then it happens. And once it happens, you can say, okay, that was written thousands of years ago, and it happened. So this has to be the truth. You're not going to get that in Islam. You're not going to get that in, in the Kibra Negas. You're not going to get that from Haile Selassie, which a lot of people in your area, they believe in that. That guy was a heathen. The Lord's not dealing with heathen at all. So if you're a heathen, you, you have to get ready for slavery. You would want to be an Israelite, because that's the time we're coming into. All of these people are about to go into hardcore slavery. They're going to build up the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on earth as it is in heaven. So you heathen, you have a great, you have, you have a great job to look forward to, man. There's not going to be unemployment in the kingdom of heaven. 
It's not going to be a, a labor strike in continual the kingdom. Continual employment. Yeah, continual employment. <laughs> That's about continual employment. Yeah. Gonna always have something to do for you always. in the kingdom. We're we gonna make up stuff for you. We're gonna go create shit. Yeah. Go break these bricks. Why? Put you to death, man. You're not gonna ask us why. Let's just do it, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I perceive. What you think? Probably Jake. Yeah, probably That's why you're a nigga. Yeah. That's why you're a nigga. That's why you're seeking. Yeah. Because, <laughs> hey, you know, he's seeking a little fucking wall. Yeah. He knew a lot more than what the fuck you said. Yeah. 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 It's all up to replay dumb. No. Let me get back to uh, who's holding it. The dang. Go ahead. Let me go back to it. Hey, this one was going on to the evolution. Fuck with monkeys and shit. Oh, Khan. The flesh of a uh, beast? Yeah. Not Khan. Yeah, this is 1 uh, Corinthians 15 and 38. Excuse me. But the Most High gave it a body as it, as it had pleased him and took every seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another flesh of fishes, and another flesh of birds. That, that's that's plain, man. That's plain. There's no plain. such thing as a fish evolving into a reptile, a reptile evolving into a bird. Like that's physically impossible. It can't cross over. That you bro. can't you can't gradually become one type of animal and then gradually become another type of animal. That's physically impossible. You can't be a crossbreed. Yeah, yeah. dog. That's no way to do that. A woman, man. Yeah. A monkey impregnating. Uh, a woman, man. that's madness. Vice versa. That is total madness, man. Yeah, you believe in a big bang theory, you through. Yeah, you finish. How the hell, how is a fish gonna evolve into a bird? <laughs> you need to be restarted, man. Yeah. Re, re, I, I all the way redone. Yeah, people believe that. They believe, that, they believe the earth is 4.7 billion years old. Why? Flunk it. Yeah. Flunk it, bro. Because the so-called white man said it. That's your God. That's who you believe in. But when you don't know what to believe in, yeah. you believe in anything. You believe in anything. Uh, so well, I don't know what to believe. Today yeah. you believe this, then tomorrow you're going to believe something else, man. Yeah. Jake could talk about evolution and go to church. Yeah, then go to church and be just tossed to and fro. Then believe the pastor when he in church, man. Yeah. Then go home and believe Big Mama. Jake just tossed all over for you. see, the other Ramla, I remember he did the, he did the lesson, man. Got that way. <laughs> anyway, even Elder Ram Live did the video a while back. So YouTube took it down. But when you estimate, you you look at the, the at the, the the first the first uh book of Genesis when the Lord created that thing, every every one of those thousand years, taking consideration different years, the forty years of being uh what it is on the, on the Solomon and. You know, the, the years we spent in Africa, you add them up, it's a rough estimate. All in all, these different these different factors. The earth is nothing more than really 6,000 at the most years old, man. No, it's like 14. It's like 14. 14. It was yeah, like, it's, it's, the, it's a little higher. The creation was like six. Seven years. Seven, seven, seven thousand years. Yeah. Yeah. Like creation was 6,000. 6, 6,000, yeah. But then we've been here for another six. So yeah. when you look at, uh, yeah, Esau has a term called prehistoric. That's all made up, all right? The actual history, any scholar will tell you this, the history goes back 5,000 years, man. Everything before that is made up. The Lord got the time. Yeah. It's, it's, it resides with the, the Lord, point, The point of the matter is, you know what I'm saying? that old. The earth is, is not that old, man. It's not that old. Yeah, it's young. It's not millions and millions. Man, the earth was millions and billions of years. We'd have been fell, we'd have fell to the bottom of space some goddamn way. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking white man, the white man would have been put McDonald's on the moon, man. Yeah. KFC and shit, man. You already got space, got space junk that's floating around. Motherfuckers getting, motherfuckers getting space junk come through the ceiling and shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, if the earth was billions of years old, there wouldn't there. be, there wouldn't be any mountains. All right. Mountains corrode like a few cent a few centimeters every year. So if the Earth was billions of years old, it, the whole Earth would just be a swamp. There wouldn't be any any mountains, any hills, any like that's clearly insane, man. You're bugged out if you believe that. Man. Real quick, the second address 14 and 10, for the world has lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. Yeah. 
yeah, and the earth don't involve around the sun. The sun involves around the earth. All the planets, including the sun, they evolve around the earth, man. Yeah. Even the earth spins, man. Even the sun, the truth to you, even the sun rotates. You know, you when you look at it with your little puny eyes, it's just a bright ass sun, it's like it's sitting there, it's actually rotating, man. All right? And the, earth is, and the earth is round, by the way, it's not yeah, flat. It, yeah, it's, it's not flat, man. We can we can we can we can kill that bullshit too. We can kill that bullshit. It's a dome. It's a glass. It's a glass dome. On a turtle. You, you go too far. Stupid ass man. That's madness, man. And that's if not you, description. If you if you believe in flat earth, man, you need to go. You need to go to your local gun store, buy the the biggest shit in there, buy the most. Full metal, full metal jacket hollow points you can buy, man. And blow your goddamn brains out, man. And make your dome you. flat. Yeah, make your dome <laughs> flat, man. This is Isaiah 40 and 22. It is he that set it upon the circle of the earth. Right, that word circle means globe. It's a globe like this. It's a globe, man. Yep. That's how the, that's the earth, man. Hey, niggas, man, we went to school. I hated going to school, man. The school from, from fucking pre-K. <laughs> Oh, the 12th grade. Yeah, I, I, Every time I looked, they had a fucking wrong globe in the back of the classroom, man. For real. You know? You know? That's the, that's Esau. Esau believed that the earth was flat. That, yeah. oh, if we travel on these boats, we're going to fall. We're going to fall off the earth, man. Yeah. Even, even the top scientist, what that guy name is? Uh, he real, he real, uh, got the bush. He like a top scientist. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Even that guy said, he said, is this because you it's a, a small object on the earth. He said that. No, 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 no. He, <laughs> no I'm about he, to say it right here. He said even you, because you're a small object on the earth that you haven't gone out of the atmosphere to the nut to see the curvature of the earth doesn't mean the earth is flat, man. Every time you go, your black ass. Every time you go and see NASA, you know different different people. They go up there. They show you the earth is round, man. It says, it is he, Isaiah 40 and 22, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, that's what you were saying, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. Yeah, you a little grasshopper yeah, on the earth, small. man. You small, so uh, of course when you down here, you look straight on to the, to the two. When, you, when you look straight down to the, uh, the uh, what it is? The vanishing point, or the vanishing point of, of of a city, it looks like it's flat. You keep walking down there, you still can see the flat. But when you go, keep going up, up and up, you can also see the, the curvature of the earth, man. Even I hate to get get like this, but even even when you're in the army, you a sniper. And if I want to shoot a guy with a Barry 50 cal miles away, I have to compensate the windage, the temperature. The even, even the circling of the earth. The curvature now, of the earth. Yeah, when I, when I start to, if I want to shoot somebody a mile away, I have to consider those things because the bullet's going to go and it's going to drop. It's going. It's, it's not going to go flat. It don't yeah. keep flat. Right? You, yeah, you. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's curving, man. Yeah. It's curving. Yeah, even in construction, they build the buildings to sway. Yeah, they sway, sway a little. Because the because the rotation. Yeah. yeah. And it ain't straight up, like you say. Like you say, it ain't have a lean. You done looked at buildings and look and it look like it's leaning. Yeah. But not in, in a sense, it ain't, you know, you're like, damn, that bit look like it's leaning. As little boys used to look at the building, the building like it's about to turn over, man. The earth is a CD mine. I heard a nigga tell me that one time. The earth is like a CD mine. It's flat. But, but, like, what do you got? got what do you say? The nigga told me, like, it has legs on it. Yeah, and a turtle. Pillars. Yeah. Pillars. Pillars. Yeah. 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 Who you who you hear say they about to go through the entire earth? Everybody say I'm about to go around the earth. Yeah. And if the earth was flat, you will fall straight off the face of the earth. Somebody get to the Somebody end of it. Somebody should have been fell off. Been fell off the earth, man. You dummies. You in space, you goddamn dummy. Well, you, you assholes on the road, you the been fell off the earth. You so goddamn dumb. Right? Shit, what did it say in, in, in Job chapter one? Satan went to and fro, up and down. And it had. Making he a ran into that, he ran into that, the, 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 so he had to come back. And if you secretly believe that yeah, shit. Man, all this pollution, all this motherfucking, uh, chemical plants, man, we'd have been suffocating this bitch, man. Niggas, niggas smoking a cigarette right now, you'd have been, you'd have been. Where, where's, where's all that 
might have been filtered at and getting out of here. Hey, another thing. When you, when you look into a telescope and you look at Saturn or Jupiter, are they flat? Are they a disk? Yeah. They're oh, they're circular. All of they are circular. <laughs> so all the planets are circular except this one. Yeah. Except yeah. Earth. Yeah. Shit, man. It's flat. Yeah. yeah, you niggas need to get kicked in the head, man. They been kicked in the head. Yeah. Yeah. They got dropped. They got dropped on their head, man. The Earth's flat, so they drop straight. Yeah, that bit was flat, and it went in a circle. That bit gonna turn you upside down, man. That's it. It's Jake Crazy, no, 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 motherfucker, bro. It's the global positioning system. It's a global positioning system going globe as a sphere. How would, it, how would that work if the Earth was flat? The Earth is flat. If the Earth is flat and the sun is over here, why is it that it just it ain't day all the time? Yeah, it should be, For day, real. Should be day right now. Yeah. Yep. Why is it that on one side of the Earth is daytime and the other side of the Earth is nighttime? This can't, this can't, it, it can't never explain that. They, they, say, they say the moon and the sun are in the yeah. dome and the flat. Yeah, they're, they're in sound, the dome. They, they, they circle like a yin yang symbol. That's complete yeah. madness. That man. shit just sound good. I saw one of the brothers say something about uh, basically if the Earth was moving around the Sun, that speed would fuck us up about yeah. how it'd be moving through the, yeah. the the axis. Yeah, you if if the Earth was traveling around the Sun, we would have to be moving at millions of miles an hour. You get cooked. That's, that's oh, we'll get burnt. You get cooked, man. You'll get burnt. You'll get burnt. That's bugness, man. You get you get fucking cooked, man. You gonna fill a boat like and get seasick, man. Yeah, man. You gonna fill a boat like and get seasick when that move. Yeah, that's like, just you, little light waves. You can feel movement in a car and a plane. But the whole planet, they saying we don't feel it moving because of the centrifugal force. Yeah, if it was flat, madness, if it was man. flat, you spin around, you wouldn't get dizzy. You goddamn dummy. Fly off the <laughs> so when you spinning around, you gotta catch back up that it's been spinning around. That's why you dizzy, man. You ain't, if it was flat, you spin around, you, come on, man. There's, there's a lot of sequences you could go into. Jay just don't. It's, it sounds good. This is a way to be off. This is, hey, the scriptures has the science down and everything. This, this is first movement of the earth. It don't show it's flat, man. Just yeah, move in a circle, man. This is first says just four and thirty-four, which shows that we live in a geocentric u uh, universe, not a not a not a, a heliocentric. How we get on this? Oh ye men! Yeah, it, it, needs, it needs to come out, man. It's very okay. I just, I just, first says just four and thirty-four. Oh ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven. Swift is the sun in his course, for he compasseth the heavens round about and fetcheth his course again in his own place in one day. So it's saying the sun has a course and compasses the heavens round about, compasses the earth, and comes back to where it needs to come back when it needs to. It's day, it's nighttime right now, so the sun's on the other side of the earth. And when it's about to be daytime over here, the sun's gonna fetch its course and go round about the heavens and come back over here. I got it. This Job 26 and 7, he scratched out the nut over the empty place and hanged the earth upon nothing. I was on two pillars being held up by a turtle. A giant turtle is holding up. Like, this is space. Why a turtle? Like, what, where y'all get that from, man? That's some shit from hell Stephen by gravity, King. bro. Yeah. Like, this is the guy right here. That's madness. This is uh, the book of in the pocket for Wisdom of Solomon. 13 and 1. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High and could not out of good things that are seen know him. That is, neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Right? But indeed, neither fire or wind or the a swift air of the circle of the stars. The circle of the stars, man. All of the all of the planets are spheres. So obviously this one is also a that's like that's plain, man. Right. When you look in the sky, all of the works are circular. The sun, the moon, the stars, the other planets. But the earth is just gonna be a giant cookie. That's, <laughs> Jake bugged out, man. But this is what happens when you, you do drugs all day. <laughs> and you watch different YouTube videos, and you toss to and fro, you be like, yeah, man, I knew the earth was flat the whole time, you heard me? <laughs> what happens when you're a king? Yeah. You get a vision. Yeah. A, a, a fucking vision. You get a Kyrie Irving vision. Through. Yeah, bro. Uh, you get a, 
B.O.B. vision, man. That nigga, that nigga oh, was so bugged out. Finish. This is what happens when you walk around with open toe sandals all day. Yeah, man. Yeah, the, the truth isn't complicated, Jake. Jake. Jake is looking for something to, give me Romans 10, start at 2. Jake is looking for something to sound deep and sound woke. Yeah. Jake is all about trying to flex on the next Jake. And if you can't flex with money, Jake will try to flex with knowledge. That's, that's his whole pursuit. Like, look, I'm going to get as much money as possible to stun on the next nigga, or I'm going to get as much woke knowledge as possible so I can sound deeper than the next nigga. That's the inward thought of Jake, to try to try to look better than the next man. When you, you're in captivity just like he is, man. And Jake just want to one-up yeah. one you. Yeah, that's it. And Jake don't want to put you on with getting money or nothing. Jake just want to one-up. Yeah, we're trying to one-up the heathen, man. For real. Like, really, seven-up the heathen. Complete dominance and rulership over these goddamn devils, man. We, we don't see it as a victory, but look, I know a little bit more than this brother. I know, I memorize more scriptures like that. That's, that don't work like that. We're, so what? <laughs> we still in captivity, we still gotta go to work. Like, we, who cares, man? Give him hey, something. Don't take man. a picture of us, you goddamn devil. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, man. No, you don't. Know. Like at least three times a week, I'm in two different Bible studies. <laughs> You're in two different, oh, hey, come, on, come over here, yeah. Devil, come on over here. You should know, you should know what's gonna happen then, right? What's that? Future speaking. Huh? He good, he I good. don't know about future speak. Uh, he good, he good. I don't know much. All I know, oh, we read the, the whole Bible. Actually, I'm in a Bible study on James, and I'm in a Bible study of Essentials of Christianity, and I, know, and I just finished one on uh, on Second Timothy. Okay, so you know the Bible. Okay, so who are the Edomites? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know the Edomites? Like, I, I know that there's many different tribes in, the, in there. I don't know all of the tribes. If you asked me who the 12 tribes were, I couldn't tell you who the 12, 12 tribes are. What's that? Esau. Oh, yeah. Who, who is Esau? That's you. Esau is one of the sons of... Uh, no, I guess I don't. He know himself. He, just he playing it. games, right? <laughs> he know him <laughs> own self. He know his own self. Hey, just because I don't know... How, how many people who Bible? study the Bible don't know many things about the Bible. You right, that's a major like split. contradiction, bro. <laughs> What's that? That's a contradiction. What's a contradiction? Many people who study the Bible don't know. Oh, I know guess it. many people don't study the Bible. Well, what's the use of studying it then? If you don't know it. If you don't know it. Well, you study it to know it. That's like working you, and no, not no, getting no, paid. No, no, no. <laughs> you, <study laughs> yes. you study it to know it. Okay, what, what do you know about the Bible? What, what do you know? <laughs> What do I know? Yeah. I just don't fuck with you. Oh, you guys are putting me on the spot. John okay, 316. Let me ask you this. Do you believe the Lord is coming back? Yes. The Lord will come back. Yes. Okay, to okay. do what? To judge us. That's a good one. That's good. That's good. And then what's going to happen? He will separate the goats and the sheep. The, the, the sheep. Uh, the people who believe in Jesus Christ okay. as our Son and Savior. Okay, now what's going to happen to the other nations outside of Israel? According to the Bible. Well, they will be judged in to tell, you the truth, to tell you the truth, he does not ever say that people oh. will go to hell. 2 and 25? Yeah, 2 and 25. This is Revelation 2 and 25. Which is in red letters. What, what uh, color are those letters? Jesus. Okay. Oh, true. What, what color what, is, what does it mean when letters are red? What does that mean? Letters are red. That means that Jesus Christ is uh, speaking. It's a direct quote. It's yeah. a sales tool. Well, no, no, no. Jesus Christ. It's a sales tool Jesus to sell Christ. Bibles, to put Jesus well, Jesus According to the Bible, bread. are women allowed to speak in the church? They're allowed to speak. They're not allowed to teach. In the church? In the church? They're allowed to speak. Yes. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. The, That's Acts. wrong. But we're well, we're in the church right now, if y'all aren't aware. So just letting y'all know. Just, just so you know that. This is Great. Awesome. This is uh, Revelation. There were, there were women in Acts, in, you know, when the Holy Spirit came down. Well, there was women in I got the church. Okay, this is after the book of Acts. Sorry? We was getting advice from because a lot yes. of women like to say, a lot of women like to quote the Bora. Who was the Bora again? Huh? A judge. Which was who? It was a man. It was a man that Barack. she was getting advice from Barack. She was getting advice from And actually, the borough, the borough was actually put up there to, to shame the so men of Israel. Give me a quote that you I, want to I give me. Yeah, this 1 Corinthians 14 and 35. You sure you want it? Okay. So you want this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul is saying Who's saying it? It's Paul. Okay, Paul. Paul wrote this letter. Okay, okay, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> 
This first Corinthians 14 and 35. And if they will learn, well, 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Well, two or three are gathered, that's a church. So as you know, when two or three are gathered. That's a church. So read three verses before then, that, or four verses before that. Don't pick so the verses. Hey, don't. No, it's no, not no, no. But start at the heading and work your way down. Okay, no problem. No, I'm telling you to read it. I'm telling you to read it uh, the, from the chapter, from at least the paragraph before to the paragraph the after. Okay. The Bible is written in that letter consists of paragraphs. Let him finish. No, 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 let him finish. 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 No, no, no. I don't give a shit. I want him to finish. Come on, you got to get back, man. You guys are bouncing around because I don't shout. I'm just showing you how to fight with Brits. This is how to buy, this is how you read the Bible, man. You don't read the He's Bible. No, 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 You read the Bible. You read the Bible. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I can like the acts. Sections. Listen, it's got to tell you. This is not, this is not ESPN. This is not, uh, every, every novel. You read it like this. Let him read it. Read it. No, 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 no. Listen. No, 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 You listen to me. You listen. Listen, listen. You listen. Read it. You just read it. Read it. Read it. And who shall make them understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. You read the Bible by reading precept upon precept. Right? Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. What is a line? Read the How you say line? You read the whole section. You don't read a single verse and say that it is. How did Jesus teach the Bible? Hold on. He Hold did on. not teach the Bible. He Jesus the didn't Bible. teach the Bible. He taught the Are Bible. Are you on crack? He taught. Yes. What, what you been drinking, man? What you been drinking? He taught the what Bible. What you been drinking? Be honest. He taught be the honest. Bible what you been drinking? Through parables. Listen, what you been listen. drinking, bro? He taught the Bible so he, through listen. parables. I mean, he listen, taught listen, the Bible. The Lord didn't teach the Bible. Oh, he taught the Bible. Oh. Actually, many people and didn't even believe that he was. He was. You have the Bible on your phone. This is Isaiah 28. Listen, 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 listen. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little. Here a little, there a little. That's how the Bible's taught, according to the Bible, not your opinion. You pick verses that. <laughs> here a little, there a little. That's what the Bible said. That's how you got to read the Bible. Give me, give me Luke 4. Give me Luke 4. Give me Luke 4. Little revelations. That's how you read the Bible, man. That's how the Lord taught the Bible. That's how Apostle Paul taught the Bible. This, this, this is not an ebony. Yeah, it's novel. broken up. This, this hey, is not, me, me this is not Harry Potter. This is not the Playboy. Thank you very much. I certainly, certainly hope not. And if first, guys, if you are teaching that the Bible is it's talking Harry about speaking in tongues, then you're wrong. And then it read, to read, you read the Bible like it's Harry Potter, though, man. Read, read, listen, Harry listen. Potter. This is how the Lord read. Books. This is how the Lord I taught the Bible. Listen, listen, my man. Verse hey. by verse. Hey, Esau, listen to this. Okay. Luke chapter <laughs> 4. This Luke yeah, chapter Luke, 4. Let me go there. Verse 16. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me go to Luke chapter 4. Not the new Luke chapter 4. Not the new NIV. Not the new translation. Not the new We just read that you're supposed to keep silence. He's not a miracle. He's not. He's just a way. He's just a way in captivity, man. I have experienced miracles. Because I was a quadriplegic two years ago, and now I am not. Didn't even feed him Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen to Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Luke 4:16. Luke 4:16. Let me get there. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And that was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. So someone handed the Lord the book of Isaiah. Go ahead. Okay. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of Yahweh is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and, re and recovery to the sight of the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 
And he closed the book. And he, he read the whole chapter. He closed the book. He did what? Closed the book. So he read one he verse. He read one verse, then he read closed one the verse book. And closed the book. Goddamn. Oh, by the way, get ready for slavery, man. You want to uh, Revelation 2? And this is what's going to happen to you, Eden Mice, when the Lord comes back, man. Hey! Oh, forest! 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 <laughs> he the forest. Forest! forest. <laughs> get ready for this, man. According to the Bible, Revelations chapter 2. You got to get ready for this. Verse, where you want to start 25. 25. But that which is, you have already, hold fast till I come. You don't know a damn thing in Revelation. He that overcometh and keepeth my word till I come. Those that keepeth the works of the Lord until he comes. Go on. Yes. To him will I give power over the nations. Over the nations. Keep going. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. No, with a rod of cotton. With a rod of iron. With a rod of iron. Go on. As, as the vessel of a potter shall then be broken into shivers. You too. Even as I receive of my father. Right. That's that's part of the gospel, man. He got to get rid of All you hear that are going into slavery, that's saying the Lord. <laughs> that's said, what the Bible says. She said, said amen. Amen. Yeah. She, she like... She said she hey, like man, You say that, man. Let it be so. She saw that on there. Let it she be so. Hold, hold the white woman on the chain. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's coming, that's man. That's perfect. Let this it be so. This is good news to the so-called white man. man. I this like that. Yeah, that's good See, news for him. The thing about it, Forrest can't throw that dope, that dope dick no more to him, man. Yeah. She was looking at, she was looking at uh, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> she don't want that yeah. shit, Forrest. Forrest ain't. Forrest ain't. ain't. 53, man. Yeah, Forrest ain't doing a goddamn thing, man. Yeah. Forrest ain't pop us in World War II, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. He ain't hit her with none of that dope, that dope, that dope dick, man. <laughs> she ain't that bitch hoping she gets up. <laughs> he, got that, he got that chair scooting stroke, man, at that little chair. <laughs> yeah, he got that. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to say he read the Bible. Yeah, he's praise the Lord! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's read the Bible three times a day. You don't know who Esau is, man? He knew he was about to start saying it. Cause he was about to say himself. Yeah. Oh, let me stop. I don't know what it is. That was that was ridiculous, man. You That's awful, bro. You needed a finish, man. That's awful, bro. We laugh at you, devil, man. That's a fucking awful. They try to come up here aggressive, but they put the fucking throw. You listen, man. You listen. That's a fire. Fuck out. This lesson was edifying to the elect. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, and Shalom, Shalom. Above above. 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 Above above.